I bet you guys didn't think I was gonna do it, did you? Well, guess what? I'm doing it. I told you, it's the start of my new life. So I had a lot of you guys ask me questions in my comments on my last video. And today I'm gonna be answering them for you guys. I hope you guys get to know me a little bit better and let's get into it. So someone asked, you so full of life. My question is, are you thinking of continuing rap as a career or is it just a hobby? And what about makeup art? What's your college major? Sorry, too many questions, LOL. No, I appreciate that you asked me a bunch of questions. So for music, yes, potentially I would love to make a career out of it. However, I do plan to go to college and the major I plan to study in college is either marketing management or international marketing. I'm super interested in anything business. So I would love to major in anything business or marketing because I feel like I can be creative. Um, oh, also what about makeup art? Um, if you guys would wanna see videos of me doing makeup, I love doing makeup and I would totally love to share with you guys the kind of stuff I do. M Cover Game said, how tall are you? Just curious. I'm actually 5'2", I'm super short. I always say there's three things that contribute to my shortness. I am Asian, I'm a girl, and I was a gymnast for many years. So I am really short. You could probably pick me up and throw me. Um, I'm tiny. <laughs> I'm sorry if I butcher your name, but Aditya Raj Singh said, when did you decide you want to make rap covers? So I never like really decided that I wanted to make rap covers. I've always been, I've always had a love for music um, ever since a young age. You know, my mom has videos of me singing Super Bass by Nicki Minaj. And at me now um, with Buster Rhymes and Chris Brown and I I've always just loved music I've always rapped along with other songs and it wasn't until I was 12 and I I learned all of the words to rap God that I was like you know what maybe I should post this somewhere because and I actually didn't feel like it was special my mom was the one who was like you know what you should post this on the internet People will probably think it's cool. I didn't think it was super cool because I was like, you know, a bunch of people can probably do it too. But come to find out, you guys loved it. And I'm super excited that you loved it and you kept wanting more. And I'm grateful that you did. And I kept learning more and more songs. The Bitter Truth said, here's my question. How good are your grades or how good are you at math? Is this because I'm Asian? I am okay at math I'm, I'm pretty good at math um my grades are pretty good i you know i do have an asian mom so if they weren't good then um i'd probably get my butt beat anyways next question what's your favorite color asked by priceless my favorite color is pink dylan caro asked me why did you stop youtube do you have anything planned for your youtube channel so as I stated in my last video, I didn't really stop YouTube because I didn't want to do it. I just never really, I never really started YouTube. Yeah, I posted a few videos and I would do a cover here and there, but I never really pushed myself super deep into it. 
and I would say now I'm actually starting YouTube. So hopefully um, you guys like what I have coming and do you have anything planned for your YouTube channel? Yes, I actually have a lot of stuff planned. A lot of funny videos that I'm planning on doing with my friends. Um, I actually potentially might post some music here soon. Um, I have some challenges that I wanna do and yeah, I have a few things that I'm working on at the moment and um, you guys will see them soon. TGE Boy 23 said, Hi Kimmy, I've been subscribed for years. I'm a high school junior and was wondering what your favorite part of high school has been. Hello, thank you for subscribing. Uh, my favorite part of high school has definitely been Palms. I've been on the Palms team, or if you don't, I think in California they call it song and in different parts of the country they call it different things, but basically it's the dance team for my school. And I've been a varsity member for all four years. I've been a captain both my junior and my senior year. And it has definitely been one of the greatest experiences for me. I love to dance and just being able to, you know, dance with a bunch of people who I love and I've gotten to know so well and people who I have classes with. It's just, like, it's been a great experience for me. And potentially I would like to dance in college as well. JJ the Jet Plane. Ask me, is ketchup a smoothie or condiment? Ketchup is a condiment. <laughs> Juan Martinez said, I want to know if you'll go to college and if you do, will you keep making awesome videos? Thank you for calling my videos awesome. Yes, I do want to go to college and yes, I will continue making videos in college. It might be a little bit more difficult for me, but you know what? This is a new part of my life that I want to start working on a lot harder, so I'm not going to give it up when I go to college, no. This person said, where are you from? Lots of love from Nepal. Lots of love to Nepal. I am from Colorado, and I don't know if you're asking where I'm from, like, what's my ethnicity, but I am half Japanese and half Persian. My mom is Japanese and my dad is from Iran. The question you guys have all been waiting for, I know, because I got asked it probably 20 times. <laughs> Basically everyone else asked me, do you have a boyfriend? Yes, I do have a boyfriend. Is that, is that like, that was a little, that was a little underwhelming. I feel like I shouldn't just give that away to you. Yes, I do have a boyfriend. Um, I don't, I don't know what else to say. Yeah, I do. Terminal Idiot said, Oh, you'll make this a blog type channel? Sure, anything. I'll stick around to watch. Thanks, but it's not going to be that kind of channel. I'm still going to put up music. It's just going to be a little different. And they said, For my question, which dance group do you follow slash learn from? So what I do is I pay attention more so to mm, teams because I'm on a high school dance team, so we focus more so on um, a specific style called Palm. And if you want, I have a video on my channel of my team dancing at state last year. And hopefully this year I'll be able to put up our, our state routine from this year. Um, I don't really follow any specific dance groups, but I do follow collegiate dance teams. My favorite team is UNLV, the Rebel Girls and Company that's in Las Vegas. I follow the CU Buffs dance team. I also follow teams that I'm not necessarily interested in trying out for, but that I just love to watch, like Ohio State, LSU, the Tiger Girls, just a bunch of teams. They're super entertaining to watch, but it doesn't necessarily mean that I want to be like them, if that makes sense. But I do think they're amazing dancers and they're so, so freaking talented. Gamers Club said, what do your parents think about your YouTube channel? So my parents don't really have like a super strong opinion of my YouTube channel. Um, my family definitely thinks it's super cool that I have a YouTube channel, but they're, and they're kind of the ones who have motivated me to want to post more on it because they've seen that I have so much potential, like specifically my mom, she's seen that I have so much potential with my channel that I haven't really used. And she's like, well, why don't you post on your channel? And I'm like, you know what? Why don't I post on my channel? So that's kind of like pushed me to want to post on my channel a little bit. They don't have a negative 
view of my channel at all whatsoever because it's not like I post anything like bad, but yeah, they, they don't really have a super strong opinion about it. The Sweet Life of Dakota and uh, I don't know what the rest of that says. I think it's probably Austin because it's all cut off. It says, been a huge fan of your channel. How did you first find out about YouTube and any tips on rapping? Oh, thank you for being a fan and subscribing to my channel. Um, I first found out about YouTube, honestly, when I was probably, I don't know, like three, back when everyone used to watch Fred and Niki Higa and all those people. Back when YouTube first kind of started coming up, I didn't really post on YouTube for, I don't know, if I was three, nine years until after I found out about it. But um, some tips on rapping. I would just say practice makes perfect. It doesn't take a whole lot to sit down for 20 minutes every day and practice something that you're working on, whether it be writing or actually rapping. As for pronunciation, I don't know why, but I've always been very articulate in my speaking and I overpronounce things sometimes. So I think that kind of helps just working on your pronunciation and over enunciating every single syllable that you say. Um, that can definitely make you sound like a more skilled rapper. I say that like I know anything. I've never been trained to rap, so I have no idea, but. <laughs> Joel Vasquez asked, I think you should find a way to put all the things you like to do. And what's your dog's name? I have two dogs and their names are Crystal and Mika. Shadow Wiz said, gaming content, please. My question is, are you going to college? And if so, can you tell me? So I don't know which college I wanna to go to now. I've narrowed it down to primarily three options um, and then like a backup school, but I wanna to go to either CU Boulder, which is here in Colorado, the University of Hawaii at Manoa, which is in Hawaii, and UNLV, which is the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. All for different reasons, but all very considerable options. And then my backup school is Colorado State University. It's not a bad school at all. I think it's a great school. I just don't know if I want to stay in state. And if I did stay in state, I would wanna to go to CU Boulder. X Gamer said, when did you first start rapping? I never really started rapping. I have three older siblings which is another question I'll answer later. Um, I have three older siblings, so I'm the youngest of four, and I've always kind of grown up listening to the stuff that my older siblings listen to. Like, if my brother wanted to watch Caillou, then I was gonna watch Caillou too. If my sister wanted to listen to Chris Brown, then I was gonna listen to. Basically, it's just the influence of my older siblings and the kind of stuff that they listen to, it's kind of affected the kind of stuff I listen to, so, They've all listened to rap at one point and that has definitely influenced me to rap. I try to sing along to songs too. I'm not a great singer, but I wouldn't say I necessarily started rapping. I'd say I listen to music and I try and mimic everything that I hear, but probably since I could talk, I can't remember a moment in my life where music hasn't been involved. Okay. Shite Watcher says, can you do supersonic speed in your age right now? Show us. Yes, I can and I will show you. Ah, some of them are doing them, I'm a human, what I gotta do to get it through the almost superhuman in a bit of an emitter, rubble so that anything you say is a shang off of me and it'll do to you. Never said he mother, never demonstrating how to give a motherfucking audience a feeling like a suffocating, never fitting. And I know they hit us up ever waiting for the day that they could say I felt like they'd be celebrated. Cause I know the way to get them motivated, I make elevating music, you make elevator music. Anyway, <laughs> yes, I can still do it. I feel like once you learn how to do it, it's kind of like riding a bike. Once you know how to do it, you always know how to do it. Logan Irwin asked, do you see yourself releasing an album eventually? Yeah, I totally do. I could see myself releasing an album of stuff that is all mine and hopefully you guys would like it. Um, I don't have anything in the works at the moment, but potentially in the future, I, I could. Hova4 asked, what is your biggest fear and why is it your biggest fear? I don't really have anything I'm super, super afraid of, 
I saw a video on Instagram the other day of this guy waking up in the middle of the ocean and that kind of scared me a little bit. So maybe I, maybe I have a fear of open water. Berman Quezada asked, do you low key like K-pop? Um, I don't really listen to a whole lot of K-pop. I have heard a few songs and yeah, it, it does kind of slap, but I wouldn't say that I'm one of those people who are super, super invested in the K-pop. Aljon Farinas asked, how long have you been dancing for? Another question, how long have you been singing? So I've been dancing since I was five years old, um, but I haven't always been a dancer. So let me get comfy here. When I was five, I did dance classes and I did them for about a year or so, maybe less than that. First, when I went to my first studio, I didn't really like it. I was five years old, I wasn't super passionate about it and the people were kind of mean and so I, my mom took me to a different studio, fell in love with dance there. At the same time, I started doing gymnastics and I completely loved gymnastics, but as I got into higher levels in gymnastics, I kind of leaned more towards that as opposed to dance. So I pulled myself out of dance and I completely devoted all of my time to gymnastics. I did my season of level four and then my coach wanted to skip me to six. So I was eight and I was on level six. I ended up shattering my elbow and breaking my wrist and I needed surgery on my elbow. And so I took a long time off from gymnastics because I was kind of scared to go back and not only that, but I was injured. After I got back, I started doing gymnastics again. I wasn't going as hard because I was a little bit scared and any gymnast who may be watching this, they know you kind of start to develop these mental blocks and it feels like you can't push yourself as hard because you're afraid you're gonna get injured again. So um, I stopped doing gymnastics. I kind of lean more again towards dance and then I was like, no, I do miss gymnastics. So then I went back to gymnastics and continued to injure myself more. My parents decided it probably wasn't the best idea to keep me in gymnastics because I was young. I'm still young and I have a whole life to live. And if I'm just gonna keep injuring myself, then it's not worth it. That was in sixth grade when I stopped doing gymnastics. And then I didn't really do anything seventh and eighth grade but high school, when high school started, freshman year, my mom convinced me to try out for the Palms team, for our dance team. And I was a little scared because I was like, I haven't danced in a long time. What if I don't make the team? So I made a deal with my mom that if I didn't make the team my freshman year, then I was gonna go do gymnastics. And lo and behold, I made varsity my freshman year and I've been on the team since, and I'm so grateful for it. I do miss gymnastics at times, but I can still do a lot of my skills. <laughs> my friends asked me to do a backflip and I can do it. Sulman Khan asked, where are you from and how many siblings do you have? So I have three older siblings. I have my oldest brother, Jason, who is 10 years older than me. So right now he's 27. I have my older sister, Ariana, who's 25. So she's eight years older than me. And then my brother Ryan, who's closest in age to me, is 18 and he's a year older than me. Tristan Cooper asked, can you please do skits? It's the only thing I really watch on YouTube. Yes, I will do skits. Uh, they're coming, I promise, they're coming. BLM Roll asked, do you know how to play any instruments? So when I was younger, I did training in the guitar, the bass, the drums, and the piano. The one I was best at was probably the bass, but my favorite to play was the drums. Um, I don't really play as much anymore, and I wouldn't say I'm great at any by any means at all. Um, I would love to pick them back up again, but I just um, I haven't. Sanjay Casey asked, "When you release your new song?" I don't know when I'm releasing a new song of my own, but I am working on some stuff for you guys. Where are you from and age? I'm from Colorado and I'm 17 years old and love from Nepal. Oh, love to Nepal. Joseph Jung asked, what did you feel when your first video went viral? I honestly didn't really know how to react because I do have a lot of friends who are super successful and they've been in movies and they're musicians and they do get a lot of recognition. And I didn't really know how 
how viral my video went. I kind of just like, it's like, oh, that's super cool. A bunch of people saw it, but it wasn't until I got older where I started to kind of realize like, wow, this many people have watched my video. Cause at first when I was younger, it was just a number and it didn't really mean a whole lot to me because I didn't really put people to the number. But now that I'm older and I see that number, like that's the amount of faces who have watched it. And it's really crazy to think about, especially when my friends, people who I go to school with come up to me and talk to me about it. It's just like, it's unreal to me. Andrew Sinabutar asked, um, well, he said, I have three main questions. What got you into singing? I'm guessing he means rapping. Um, my older siblings kind of, I, I never really got, I never really had something that got me into it, but I've always loved music. What are your personal tips to increase and maintain the voice quality? Um, drink lots of water. If your voice is feeling scratchy, drink some tea. I know anytime before I go into the booth, I either have to drink lukewarm water or warm water, or I drink a Starbucks medicine ball because it helps soothe your throat. And my, my voice is naturally kind of a little bit more scratchy because my voice is so deep. So I kind of have to use that stuff to lighten it up. If you got two choices to bring back Tupac and to work with Eminem, which one would you choose? I think probably bring back Tupac, but I mean, I don't have that type of power and I feel like the opportunity to collaborate with Eminem, that would be amazing, but you can get there other ways, if that makes sense. But bringing back a dead legend, like, that would be pretty cool. If that was up to me, yeah, totally. <laughs> John Debarma. John Debarma asked, do you have an Instagram account? Yes, my Instagram is at Kimmy Varaste, K-I-M-I-V-A-R-A-S-T-E-H. And if you guys want, I always put it in my description. I put my Snapchat down there too, if you guys want to talk to me. So you know where to find it. Varler asked, dance would be cool. What style do you do? So I do all styles. I've been trained primarily in hip hop because that's my favorite style and that's the style I love to take even if it's not technically based. Um, I have taken ballet, jazz, lyrical, contemporary, whatever, I've done all of it. But my two favorite styles I would say are palm, which is super heavily based in technique and like sharpness of movement and hip hop. Those are my two favorite styles. Siv Yig asked, have you started feeling senioritis yet? You know what? Yes and no. So the thing is, as a junior, I took three AP classes and that kind of kicked me in the butt, not gonna lie. So then I took three AP classes my senior year also, and they are also kicking me in the butt. Yes, I do have senioritis, but no, I can't slack off because if I do, I know it's gonna, it's just gonna end me. It's, it's gonna be the end of me. So yes, I have senioritis. I do want to get out of high school. I do want to leave. I want to be done so bad, but I know I have to keep working hard and I can't slack off or procrastinate, even though that's one of my many talents, a hidden talent of mine actually. Um, but yeah, I can't, I can't let it get to me, even if I do have it. Queen Hala asked, what's your favorite Eminem album and song? I definitely think my favorite song is Stan. And I, I wish I could be more original, but like every time, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the music video or what. Every time I watch it, I just like, I cry. I, I don't know what to do with myself. Mobile Gaming asked, will you again make the Eminem's cover song? Yeah, I probably will make another Eminem cover. Uh, just wait on that. This person asked, can you do a yoga challenge? Yeah, I can. <laughs> Roshan Saru asked, can you tell me where you are from? Because you look like Asian and what's mom call you the name? Um, I'm half Japanese and half Persian, as I said before. And my name, Kimmy actually comes from my middle name, Kimiko, which is Japanese. Can you speak Persian? 
Um, no, I can't speak Farsi. My dad can, my grandma can, that whole side of my family can, but I can't speak Farsi. I understand a few words. I know the names of certain dishes, like the food that I love to eat because that's, those are the ones I know how to ask for, but no, I can't speak Farsi. What are three words you would use to describe yourself? Let's see, okay, I'm a procrastinator. I'm loyal, both to my friends and people who I care about. And I am a jokester because I never take anything seriously, which is also kind of a bad thing, but in most cases it's good. I wanna know about life at school and how you deal with assignments and projects. So my life at school is my school starts at 7.15 in the morning. I usually get there late. I have AP Lit, and then I have my off hour, and then I have AP Stats, and then uh, my STEM program, and then I have lunch, then I have AP Macro and Micro Econ, and then Anatomy, and then International Marketing. So it's a pretty hectic day. I never really get a whole lot of time. And then after school, like right after school, I have practice for usually two to three hours, two to three hours-ish. And um, then I go home. And by the time I get home, it's night. So then I go home, do my homework, and I get ready for the next day. And then I keep going. Um, as for how I deal with assignments and projects, um, this is something I really need to work on because I'm super bad at it, but time management and usually I will push assignments and projects off till the last day because that's just me because I'm a procrastinator, but I always get them done even if that means I'm turning my paper that's due at 11.59 in at 11.56. As long as it's done, that's all I'm concerned about, even if that's a bad way of looking at things. I, I highly recommend that you do not do that. That's just my personal, not preference. I, I really wish I didn't do that. It's just, that's how I am. Summit Sahay asked, can you do a cover on Speedum? I already have a cover on Speedum. Matrix Loco asked, you already matured and how old are you now? 17. My birthday is July 16th, 2002. For those of you guys who didn't believe that I was 12 years old in my Rap God video, I was because now I'm 17. So, boom. PJ Shady asked, have you watched The Joker? Yes. It was a really good movie. Honestly, I liked it. And I know there's a lot of controversy around it, but I thought it was a good movie. It was super interesting and it was kind of, I don't know. I thought it was a really good movie. Maung Temjen asked, uh, my question is, do you have a boyfriend? If not, what type of boy are you interested in? I have a boyfriend and the type of boy I'm interested in is um, I like really sweet guys who are I mean, I definitely like athletes But that's because I'm super active and I want someone who I can who I can kind of relate to on, in that sense I like funny guys because I Like I said, I'm a jokester and I like guys with nice eyes and soft hair. I don't know what it is. Uh, I, that's just what it is for me. Haiti Noren asked, you can still rap? I don't know, you guys let me know below. Mautushi Reza asked, can you do teen makeup tutorials, vlogs, etc.?" Yeah, I will do makeup tutorials and I will do vlogs. Okay guys, we have made it to the last question. So the last question is, how did you do it? How did you do it? How did you do Rap God? I don't know guys, it just, I did a lot of practicing. Well, did I? I listened to it a lot and I looked at the lyrics. I practiced it. I mean, it was just kind of, it was, it was natural, you know? And all I can say is if you guys want to learn how to do it too, just practice. All you got to do is practice. Some people it'll come easier to than others, but 
as long as you work hard at it, you could totally get it too. It's it's not rocket science. You guys can totally learn how to do rap god. And I think if I'm not mistaken, that is it for questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like you guys were able to kind of get to know me a little bit better, even if that's a bad thing. You don't want to get to know me because I'm weird. Hope you guys feel like you know me a little bit better now. And I know a little bit more of what you guys want from me. So now I can start giving it to you guys. And I hope you guys are excited for it. I love you all so much. I'll see you next Sunday in the next video. Peace out.